Okay folks, after uh, many many months, long time testing different versions of a greatless gas, drizzle gasifier, uh, we finally, Pascal and I, feel confident enough to uh, unveil some uh, of the technical aspects uh, we put into this design. Merely we have uh, our traditional fall tube, drizzle tube, but uh, underneath, instead of a, uh, instead of a uh, rose grate, we um, put in a vise. This vise is, uh, this vise is uh, um, pushing forward any kind of dirt that might uh, fall uh, uh, into the gasifier, nails, stones, etc. Um, here we have a small motor, which is directed by an under, uh, under pressure sensor. And um, the uh, ashes and dirt and everything are uh, slowly uh, pushed away into this uh, container, into this drop box. The function of the drop box is to slow down the gas stream, so uh, uh, excess dust and uh, uh, small charcoal particles uh, can uh, settle down there before uh, the gas is further down uh, transported to the cyclone and finally the filter and uh, to the uh, flare and uh, to the uh, engine. Uh, continuous running is the key word because uh, most of the gasifier designs which are on the market, invert types, FEMA, etc., etc., are never designed for continuous uh, running. They uh, run a few hours and then they are uh, uh, shaking or uh, clean out or whatever. Uh, we are aiming at a gasifier which uh, can be run unattendedly and uh, for uh, days and days and days without any touching, without any clean out. See further in this film how this uh, 50 hour test went. I start the system uh, up. Well, the system is uh, completely cold. Inside the drop box, I have a thermometer, which, I see, which you see here. A thermometer of uh, some uh, 50 centimeter inside. And uh, that point is my reference point. At this uh, moment, at that reference point, it's now 11 degree. So, okay, I light my torch and I light the gasifier and uh, we'll see. So far, the last four days, I did uh, 28 hours without issues. I hope to uh, complete another 22 and then I have uh, reached my mark for this test being uh, 50 hours untouched running this uh, gratless. Okay.
the two previous versions, uh, uh, engine grade gas uh, produce, engine grade gas was not an issue. Run them uh, for uh, three, four, five hours was not an issue. But uh, after three, four, five hours, you get a nasty uh, problem, which is uh, which I call uh, packing. Your uh, your um, uh, reduction uh, get packed by a small uh, small uh, uh, ashes and small uh, charcoal, and it gets so dense that um, at a certain moment uh, the resistance is so great uh, your gasifier doesn't breathe and uh, you get less gas, less and less gas. Now in a, a grate uh, system, uh, a system a gasifier with a grate, now you can uh, grate shaking or uh, if you have a driving uh, gasifier now you can road on bumpy roads but in a grateless uh, design as this one well, uh, I have now with the version 3 uh, introduced uh, an anti-packing device. We monitor uh, everything, uh, the packing. Uh, I can do that uh, by uh, an under pressure sensor. Well, I have uh, lighted my torch, put on the blower, is there a spark? Let's see if we have a spark, yes, we have a spark, and uh, let's uh, light the gasifier. Okay, gas fire is lit. Flare is coming. Soon we have a sustainable flare. And uh, I think uh, we are stuck. We have a sustainable flare. <laughs> 